Oh, I'm a fucking dumbass. Wow, okay, so you just you just jump across. Fucking stupid Josh. I, I feel sorry for all the people who spent the last day going, Josh, it's so obvious, you just jump across, you don't mess around with the other thing, you just jump across the fucking platform and get on the other one. Dumbass. You know, I, I play I mean, a it, character that hates myself in comments. It, <laughs> in, in fairness, I, I think it speaks to the power of these puzzles that three people solved it and we couldn't remember how to do it properly. <laughs> I was just trucking up to being an old man, which I'm discovering is incredibly awesome. It's In a few more years, I'm never going to have to buy a new game. I can just play old ones and they'll be new because I'll have forgotten them. So this is kind hey, look, of silly. It's a giant here. treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it got in? I wonder what's in Aww. here. We'll never <laughs> like, know. Take it. Put it on the belt. Okay. Cool. Done. Tomb raided. Shot. Mountain village we... relic map found. It was nice of these ancient people to make a map of all the stuff that's currently of in here. Of all the GPS. Like the locators. GPS caches. The, they, like, they really I, the, need the music is really triumphant, but but <laughs> you, you you got a map. Yeah. <laughs> you you are basically Dora oh, no. now. Oh, that's odd. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm. We are so good yes. sued. <sighs> oh yeah, <clears throat> this what happens wonderful when the cat gone off the show. <clears throat> and the wonderful atmospheric entry to these tombs is a little. Annoying when you have to leave and she does the slow walk in the dark again. And yeah, you're like, Come on. yeah. Like, like for the record, lighting the torch and and walking and walking through there is not optional. Like, you have to do that. You can tell the difference because immediately afterwards, I started bunny hopping, and now there's water everywhere. I like how your torch is still going after all that. That's a good torch. It's gone now. That's some really good lightning. Yeah, I, this is my favorite level. This level is huge. No, nothing. Oh, okay, I do fight these nothing. guys here. There's no one up here. They never make it up this far. No, no, they don't. Should you should just ignore me. I. Shoot so this light. is like. Ah, let's wait out the storm. Got it. Oh, okay. I, I always thought like. I need help. Like, you should, like, sneak past these guys, but you never can. Yeah, I tried. You can't. They seem to be oh, aware. Oh, shit! What the... <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they've they got no the, fair. They're fire fighting with something. fire. Oh, That's man. not fair. That was All a nice right. shot. See, I like... The, this thing is a pretty good sniper rifle in this game. It, and and you yeah, can upgrade it, it really well. You know, much better it, than you could in, say, Far Cry 3. It's it's a good weapon. Uh, it's not good when you're fighting masses of enemies and, you, you know, you kind of need to mow people down. It's a great sniping weapon. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, and once you get it upgraded, yeah, it's really cool. Up there. I don't even think I'm capable. Now, oh shit! Uh, oh, <laughs> what? What? What is this? What? No! Wait! I need to loot the no. Huh? What is this? Where are we? Oh, is this the tomb? Oh, okay. I thought that was too. It's the tomb. Loss. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it again. I don't have. I'm not. I don't do have short-term memory loss. What are you talking about? Oh, this tomb. I really like this tomb. We should do it. You know, this is my favorite level. It's huge. You've <laughs> got places you can't get to yet. I wonder if I can get there. Are we supposed to go back down and heal Roth first before we move on? Oh, we got we, we got to get his stuff from the wolves. We, we, we did. What? Oh, I get it. I get the joke. How I get it. How do we get it. on this island? I have meta short-term memory loss. I don't remember why we're <laughs> making the joke. <laughs> you don't remember why we're talking about not remembering things. GPS cache! 
The GPS caches are the weirdest, I think, collectible. Oh. Yeah. Like, and they're the most yeah. pointless. They're the most arbitrary. Oh, there's there's a thing here. Like I don't I don't mind I don't mind any of the collectibles. I mean, they're sufficiently optional. That I, I oh, is this the German thing you guys were talking about? No, no, no. This is the uh, so this is the Chinese ambassador. So there's a lot of um, a lot of the documents wow. like make it pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I screwed up that guess of uh, accent pretty badly. Yeah. Well, to be fair, um, in, the accents are really broad in this game. Like, there's a lot of documents that make it pretty clear that, um... This place is really fucking old, and there were a lot of different, like, like culture mishmashes going on where people ended up on the island and inexplicably couldn't leave. Right. Although, they, they've got, like, bases built here and other weird things that... Yeah. Like, wait a minute. It's, it gets suspicious how... Yeah. Like Wait, you guys built a science, on this, a weather, this mysterious island. You built a weather research station here, and th oh, there's geez. like a this big, there's a pair of fuel tanks all set up for refueling aircraft or whatever, and it's like, well, wait, <laughs> why is that here, if you only can shipwreck here? So yeah, very pulpy. That that Not looks kind of silly in slow right motion. There? Yes, it does. Find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Laura. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up! We got an intruder! My God, and these are people we still haven't had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that you still don't really know. I mean, if you play right. the game, you know who they are. Alex and Reyes are pretty distinct, but but if you if this is your first time through, you're like who two different people clowns? just talk. I, yeah. yeah. Like I couldn't tell who was who. I couldn't remember if you said, "Well, which guy is what Alex?" I'd be like, "Wait, oh, what?" I can't remember. I just got a tutorial for shoving and got a stealth kill on the dude I just shot in the face. What the f Okay, sure. I'll take it. I look forward to the day where when QA is so expensive that we get even crazier bugs than that. You you've seen the uh, the broken Lara title screen image or whatever with Lara's skin gone and it's just the eyeball. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That was more of the graphics card trouble that, uh, that this game had going on. But uh, come on, that's the most like fantastic looking problem ever. I know. Oh, it's time to watch more home movies from Sam's camera. Boy, this stuff. Th this fun. this was the one that was the most out of place. It's like you're going to this radio tower. There's dudes waiting out in front of it. Clearly, there's a lot more around. Let's stop at this campsite and watch videos, you guys. Well, I mean, I like McGurk. This looks like it might be an electrical problem. And and this feels like cut content oh, or something where we're talking yeah. about the problems on the boat Is that we yeah, never you know really what? brought back up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we mentioned... Asia. Somebody said earlier that, that they actually oh, began the game on the boat. Guys, and so it was awkward. Be. I know, he's really bad. Um... They said that Don't the game began on the boat, but they... Oh, that's too slow of a start. I wonder if this was a conversation that was on the boat at the very beginning. Because there's nothing here about... I mean, there's just clearly stuff that happened before. In fact, it's possible that everything on the camcorder... That, you know, they took all that stuff from the beginning of the game and put it on this camcorder for you to watch, and that's how they handled their exposition. you know... And this is a lot. If they had put all of this at the very beginning of the game, that would be that would be really um, tough. That would be a lot of exposition before we get going. The problem with this is that it does work for some of the characters. Like you get a good idea of who Whitman is, and you get a good idea about Roth from this, but it doesn't work for some of the other characters that just seem like like who are these people? Oh, and this scene goes on for way like, too long. For example, um, um, what's his face? The Hawaiian guy. I can't even remember his name. I, I, 
I seriously thought watching this, oh, this is just like some random background NPC we'll never see again that's just talking about fish for this documentary. I did not realize this was a guy that was like actually in the game and did stuff. Wait, who's holding the camera? Oh Lord, yeah, Lord, Sam is over there. Oh, weird. That's this confusing. Damned. Or maybe TV maybe it's just like I'm, I'm meant to be like bringing they have a cameraman. People, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. Jonah, that's right. It's a, it's wrong. Well, Jonah it's talking about the camera. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the lost kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? I think this is an interesting idea like that, I mean, you'll, you'll see documentaries like this where Dr. James they have a lot of crappy filler, like, oh, we four, want to record action. this faraway okay. place, no, so we're going to blow, so like, an half an hour of screen time like. getting there. Um, so much. I can see charts on the back of my eyes. You see stuff like this, and <laughs> I could just right see this would be that awful filler in documentaries that you're like, oh... Come you on, do we get there or not? In your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five years old. It was my or the twenty five. minutes of bullshit faffing that around on Mythbusters before they finally get around to blowing the thing up. Mm. Like, like, like see, you get say. you get some pretty like good this. character interaction and, and exposition on on some of the characters, like Roth and Laura and and he would have been so yeah. Whitman yeah. here. But it doesn't work for some of the ones that like you you haven't it been fully established yet. You don't really know who they are. So you Ray is all you know. All you know here is Ray is. is I have a daughter. Yeah. Alex doesn't get any screen and, time. And, Jonah doesn't get any screen time. And maybe kind of close with Roth, but not really quantified yet. And you see him out in the corridor, okay, Lara. hugging. Pull yourself together. Yeah, now this this upcoming yeah, section, oh. the first time I went in, just face first, and there's a there's a minigun uh, oh, we have camp Paula up now. ahead. And it's really hard if you go in face first, and if you can stealth your way through it, it's like stupid easy. And the the AI in this game, I can't tell if it's deliberate or not, but they, the guys in this game are hilariously oblivious, even by the standards uh, of the genre. Like, they could give yeah. thief guards a run for their money on just being absolutely um, oblivious to the world around them. We don't have the silencer yet. It's very gamey, this section up ahead. Um, it's like they only notice a guy dying if he dies while the spotlight's pointed at him. If you kill him and then the spotlight sweeps over his dead body, nobody cares. <laughs> I, I think that's one of the problems with the game's stealth, is that there are parts where it is genuinely attempting to be kind of stealthy, like with the uh, spotlight, and then there are other times where if you show yourself at all, every guard is immediately alerted to you. Yeah. But this one, for some reason, yeah, is again, stealth. You know, it's the problem where you think there should be like stealth segments, but there's no, you can't really stealth for the most part because the game doesn't actually support it. Yeah, that's frustrating when you feel like you should be able to stealth through it and you realize, no, that I can't. Like, the game's not going to let me. You kill one guy and everybody in the area immediately goes into combat mode and starts right. shouting. Even Where in other times, in other in similar situations, they remain oblivious and it's very arbitrary. Based on whether or not... I'm going to do stealth here. Need oh, no, no. Already not working. Oh, Jesus. I can't even see me. Oh man, yeah. this is gonna suck. Yeah, this is a tough fight. I did get through it. Boy, it was murder. But I'm. Um, no, I, I meant like. Yeah. You see that? I mean, they do have the tools at their disposal to get. They've got you pinned down, and they've got, like, grenades and, like, Molotov cocktails to flush you out. So they've got the tools to really tear you apart here. You can't just hang back and pick them off. Although I suppose it helps that you can take a lot of machine gun fire to the face.
Like, that's more than I would have thought you could get away with. We should get another level up pretty soon. Almost to the next tier. Doing. Ah, there it is. Yeah, but the combat in this game is pretty slick when it's not trying to be a stealth game that doesn't work as a stealth game. That's, that's my only yeah. real complaint about it. There, there's a lot of cover-based games that are either way too... Like, like I, I think Gears of War too often ends up being very bullet-spongy. I, I don't know if either of you yeah. have played it, but it, it's, yeah. it's real bullet -spongy. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, like where you just drill for a long time before you put somebody down, and I don't like that either. And here, cover feels like it matters because you're fragile and they're fragile, and the whole thing makes sense. And battles don't feel like they're taking forever, although it does uh, bring the body count up to have. Oh, there's that arm flicking the water off the arm's move that I love yeah. so much. Um, it does. It does require your body count to be higher. Because, you know, you it's either combat's over in eight seconds, or you need to fight more dudes, or guys need to be bullet sponges. I mean, it's got to be one or the other. Or one of those. And so, yeah, they kind of went with the high body count. I would have liked for the body count in this game to be lower. I think it like, would have helped I, I don't even mind having a realist. high body count. I would have liked to have been able to stealth through it and not have a high body count as an option. Yeah. You can't do that. You basically, you have to kill everyone. What are they needed for? And, yeah, I, well, I think just less combat overall, a little more platforming and puzzles, would have. this would have been a much stronger game. Because after a while, the body count does get to be at odds with the realism of the setting. Or the, the realism and the grit that they're trying to set up. I, I maintain the problem isn't so much the body count in and of itself, it's the length of the game. Because it's, it's the fact that you, you go to the point where you're, like... You, you reach the point, like, at about the uh, the oh. radio antenna that we're going to here, where you've killed an entire building full of people to prove right. how much of a survivor you are. And, and at that point, you've proven you're willing to kill to survive. You are a survivor. You will do this. And then the game's got, you know, two-thirds of the game left, and then the body count keeps going up from there. And at a certain point, it does become ridiculous. And I, th I think the problem's more the length of the game than the fact that you have to kill people. Like, okay, there's bad guys, and they're, they're trying to kill you, whatever, but at a certain point it becomes more of a vengeance, kill Bill sort of thing than a survival thing. And that's where I think the yeah. right. fault. We get fire arrow pretty soon here. We're fire ammo, don't we? Pretty soon. And I do wonder no, what you they're going to no. do. No, that's a while the fire off. That's after the, fire the plane. Gets, right, that's when you get to the plane, and, and after you get to the uh, shack village. Oh, that's right, yeah. No. The, the next one is the shotgun. Oh, yeah, that's right. Or the assault rifle um, and the shotgun. No, I wonder what they're going to do with the next game. Like, how are they going to reconcile this tone? Because the tone is still a little bit too action-y to meet with this gritty beginning. But it's also not... It needs to be even more kind of action-y and pulpy if they really want to sell classic Laura as this adventuring person. Like, they need to keep moving in more the... Hey. I, I think they just need to move away from, from so much the shooting in general. I mean, have the shooting, have it have... have, have fights, ostensibly, yeah. but, but reduce their frequency, reduce the, the lenient, or the, the amount you lean on that as core gameplay, and, and sort of integrate those awesome puzzles into the core gameplay. Have the next one be more about Lara the archaeologist who might have to shoot some dudes than Lara the person who shoots okay. dudes who might have to solve some puzzles. Go to hell. Lean towards more the principal. Oh, straight ahead? And we get to hear Robert Atkin Downs doing his really hammy German accent. Here's the TF2 medic. I, I love that scene, by the way, with the... Uh, <laughs> the go to hell, because if you, I don't know if either of you didn't shoot him, but if you don't shoot him, he starts calling for help. I didn't shoot him. Does he? I, I, I just walked away from him. Yeah, and, and then like three dudes bust in. 
Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavations. Um, so this is like, this bunker in particular is like the start of like, wait a minute, this island doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, how is there Japanese bunkers on the island, German scientists and all this, and, and, and apparently nobody like thought like, hey, it's really weird that there's this island here that nobody ever comes back from, and there's like shipwrecks all over it. Like how look at look at all this concrete. Did they get ships shipwrecked here that had tons and tons of concrete and bulldozers and construction equipment? Here's one of the few moments in the game where it actually feels like the guys have their act together and are working to oppose you, as opposed to standing around in a room and waiting for you to show up and murder them. I actually Yeah, I this I is, actually kinda this like is, this. I really like this sequence. It's hard too. This is probably one of, one of the harder gunfights in this early part. This is the first time where it really uh, is like trying to kill you for real. Well, yeah, I, yeah, and it, it made you feel like kind of badass. Like you just got the new gun, and you just like mow into these guys who have nothing nearly as good as a machine gun. You know, they maybe have a couple of pistols and bows. Well, and and it's why I keep trying to frame the uh, the antenna as sort of what should have been the climax because this whole sequence feels like you're building up to something like you have yeah. this room and then after this you have the guy that the I don't know they, they give him a name it's not Hans it's some Russian name it's like Alexi or something but he comes out and like he feels like a big boss and then you're you literally start clearing out entire buildings of people here and it, it really ramps up, and then immediately after you reach the tower, they ramp the combat way, way, way back from here for like the next half of the game. Yeah, the game has a really weird thing where each act has this like plateau, and then it goes back to like like puzzle solving, platforming segments for a while, which makes it like weird. Yeah, like I thought the game was going to end at the next like plateau, and it doesn't. Um. It, it does result in some really nice dividers between the acts, so if you're really confused into what act you're in, it, it's pretty obvious. Um, but yeah. I like how there's a campsite in the building, like, people would like, yeah, Somebody yeah. built a fire indoors. Yeah, with a, a fire and everything. It's great. And here's also where the island starts to develop a character as being the island. Sort of, more of that lost influence coming through. I do like that guy that drops down, though. That's, that's a nice touch. Did I loot all those guys in that other room? I hope Most so. Most of them. Well, and here we go. Here we go. We, yay, the radio console. We reached it. Now we just press all the buttons. I'm sure it'll work. Oh. I liked. Okay. I liked this. I was really expecting to find a fully working console because hey, video game. And when I got here and realized, holy Hi. cow. Are you there? Duh. Of course it wouldn't be working. Yeah. That actually makes more sense. The I, I don't then know if the, it'd be so dilapidated that the, the lever would just fall off in your hands at the slightest touch. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and of course, who built this around. radio tower if this place is only people? Like you just have to think of it that th there must be periods okay. of calm where people did nice. land here, build yeah, bases. Well, uh, like, Himiko just took naps first. for decades at a time. That's the right. only way you it, can make sense of it. It seems otherwise really it's weird, ridiculous. though, that there's not, Wait, like, a, like, like this island is not, like, specifically known and infamous oh, now for being, like, this Wait. ship graveyard that you can never leave. You'd think by now people would have taken note of it and at least put a quarantine around the island. Like, say, don't come here, weird shit happens here, we don't know what. Well, I mean, it's it's a weird dissonance we tried to bring up in the first or second episode, where it's like, Rutskarn's opinion that this is really pulpy and adventurous and goofy and dumb, and then it's also simultaneously this really gritty, realistic, no, but for real, though, you just got stabbed, and that's a big thing, sort of a story, yeah. and it, trying to juggle those two things makes it really confusing. If this was more cartoony like the earlier games, 
this would be less of an issue because we wouldn't be looking at it as such a real... We wouldn't be trying to judge it as if it was the movie it's pretending to be. We judge it as the cartoon it's, it, it is. I like the steam up ahead, by the way. The, the effect of Although this kind of annoyed burn. me. All these guys are in parkas. And I'm like, wait, why can't I take one of their parkas so I don't burn myself? <laughs> and it's like... Like, that, that's one of the, the running... I think jokes of the game is that you never ever get a jacket. There's so many people that you can take jackets from. There's so much cloth running around that you can like make a parka out of, but you never actually I, do it. I got a jacket. There's jacket DLC. It's like a dollar. <laughs> and you get this cool bomber jacket. Are you, are you serious? Is that I'm really serious. a thing? Some of the some <laughs> of the it'll be in one of the, yeah. it, it'll be in one of the splash screens eventually in this season. Well, that explains it. You can't, you, you need to, you can't wear a jacket because you have real money transactions. <laughs>